Hello, it's Jeanette with Geo Amazing Paper Crafts. Thank you for joining me in my craft closet. Today I have a sweet little project to share with you. This is a little rose basket uh, party favor. It looks like a little rosebud with the leaves. And uh, believe it or not, I have uh, made this using the gift bag punch board. Yep. I sure did and I'm going to show you how I did that now it's not really difficult um, you just need to uh, write down some score lines and uh, make a little octagon because all you need for this is just a four and a quarter inch square piece of uh, cardstock or even DSP okay so let's get started uh, this one is in the uh, real red from Stampin' Up and this one is the rose red you see the difference and they're so cute and and they really do hold a lot of uh, candy in here you can put skittles m&ms reese's pieces nuts and things like that and they're just so cute they measure about an inch and a quarter tall and in, probably a little wider than maybe a uh, baby i don't know about two inches two and a half inches wide uh, when you count the leaves but th the bottom part is about an inch and a quarter so I just wanted to give you those measurements okay so let's get started four and a quarter by four and a quarter piece of paper now you're I'm gonna be bringing in my simply scored scoreboard let me make sure it's not glaring here move these aside here okay now this is probably going to be the most tricky part of this uh, project because you're going to need to make an octagon out of this square piece of paper. And this is the easiest way I found to do it. Um, I could draw it on the computer. I have, uh, I'm a graphic artist uh, in my other life, but I decided to use the scoreboard and show you how easy it is to make an octagon out of a, a square piece of paper. So what you're going to do is you're going to score it in half, which um, if this is four and a quarter here, you are going to need to score this at two and one eighth. Okay, that is the halfway mark for four and a quarter. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, now turn it um, about 90 degrees and then do the same thing. Okay, and now here's the little tricky part. You're going to take your, your stylus from your Simply Score and take it to the three inch mark and move it all the way down until you can put the corner of this right here at the three inch mark and the other corner here and then you're going to score okay and then you're going to take and you're going to also score at the five and one eighth mark score it here okay and then you're going to score make sure that this stays right there at that three inch mark and then you're going to score over here at the one and seven eighths inch mark no actually the it is the seven eighths inch mark not the one and seven eighths it's the seven eighths inch mark okay i better correct my notes okay now turn it like this do the same thing at this diagonal um i just want to make sure i'm at three inches down here you could make a mark here with something that you can remove if you want um but i'm taking this to three inches here and i am going to just mark it here and then do the same thing five and one eighths okay and s just seven eighths right here okay now you've got all your scoring done i know it looks kind of weird it looks a little geometrical That's why we are geo amazing paper crafts we like geometrical things okay so i'm going to go ahead and fold and burnish just these cross lines not you're not going to need to fold and burnish the ones on the corners okay so let me do that with my bone folder and there should be like four lines that you will fold and burnish Okay, and that's really all you have to do. Now, you see how I have this folded like this? Um, it's not; it's folded in half, but with the with the points showing. Take your paper snips, and I want to try to show you if if you can see this on camera. This score line here needs to be um, trimmed from this score line here. 
So what you're going to do is just take your paper snips and as straight as you can make it, just trim off until you meet that score line, okay? And um, you can also do it on this side, but the opposite way. You're trimming this off here, okay? And now you're going to fold it the other way, okay? And then you're going to trim from this score line just to the edge right there and then trim from this score line right here. I'm hoping that you can see this. And you're gonna trim from here to the edge of that. And now you've made yourself a really cool octagon. And that's what you need in order to take this to the gift bag punch board. So let's do let's do some punching on this gift bag punch board. This thing makes wonderful bags, but just playing around with it, you can discover all kinds of things that you can make with this board. Okay, so I am lining up one score line to this line that you're going to see now. Stampin' Up's uh, uh, gift bag punch board is all gray with a little lighter gray. So I'm not sure what color this line is, but I think it might be white. But you want to make sure that that score line is all the way, you know, um, lining up with that line and this little tab that's right there okay and you push this all the way up to you can't go anymore don't squish it just push it up and now I need to stand in order to do this so bear with me okay there's one punch and then you're gonna turn it and you're gonna do this on every score line just scoot this in make sure you line up that score line and give it a punch okay see how your flower petals are coming together all right now let's do this all the way around as straight as you can. The neater you are at this, the better this thing will come together. Now it's going to come to be where um, you're not going to have the score line all the way down, but you can still see the score line from here in between your petals. So it, it won't be difficult for you to line that up. Okay, now I have all of these petals punched punched out. Isn't that cool? This in itself would be kind of a cool little decoration. Now, the next step is to uh, uh, punch out a couple of circles. And I'm going to do that with my one and a quarter inch circle punch. And I'm just going to punch out two. You can use a different color. It doesn't really matter what color, but I'm keeping this pink. Um, this is the pink pirouette that I'm making this in. Okay, now... To make things easier for you, bring in your, uh, what is this thing called? It is called your, uh, your stamp and your piercing mat, okay? Mine's a little bit worn, worn out, but this is what I like to do. I, I kind of like to just kind of break up the fibers a little bit um, in this because it's just going to lay a little easier for you if you just do this with all the petals, okay? And it doesn't really take that much time, but believe me, it really, really does um, help you. And then I'm just going to just very, very gently curl these. Now, don't do this too hard because um, you don't want to tear these. They are a little bit fragile. Okay. So that's all I've done is just break up some of the petal, uh, break up some of the fibers in the paper. Now I'm going to take a glue dot, uh, a mini glue dot, and I'm going to put this right in the middle of this circle. Let me do that with my paper piercing tool. Okay, I'm just going to grab the glue dot and just stick it right in the middle. And then what I want to do is I want to center it here inside this little petal. I mean this little flower. Okay, and try to center it the best you can. Okay. I think that'll work for me. And now just gently fold these up 
around that circle and we are going to be using glue dots and we're putting the glue dots on the inside of just four of these petals um, let me get the mini glue dots and I will put them on every other one but on two sides one on this side in the corner and one on this side in the corner okay and then skip a petal and do the same one on this side in the corner one on this side in the corner okay oops butterfingers and then skip a petal and you get the picture skip a petal okay so now I've got all my glue dots on now I'm going to take the um, the the ones that have the glue dots on it and the one that doesn't I'm going to push that in and I'm going to meet these two kind of right in the in the middle of that one petal just try to be as neat as you can see how I'm, I'm meeting those two right there meeting the edges of those two petals and then just just press that glue dot in and then do the same you're going to push the one that doesn't have the glue dots toward the middle and then you're going to meet in the middle with these two outer ones okay and press your glue dot in and this does hardly take any time at all because there's only four petals that don't have the glue dots in them okay and you can kind of eyeball the center here and the neater you are doing this you know the prettier your petal is going to be now if you would if you want to you can kind of color these uh, this little um, the, you know the petals with some you know coloring on the edges if you want to I mean it, it's just all up to you how you want to you know decorate using your your sponge I'm not going to do that right now but if you're going to do that do that before you put it together it's a little easier okay now I'm going to take this other um, oh before I do that I'm going to put some leaves on here now I made a few leaves made about four leaves uh, using the punch called the bird builder punch this bird a builder punch has this really cute little leaf here and I love I love it it's one of my favorite leaves to use in my projects and then I just do a little embossing on them with my stylus tool and a little coloring uh, shading so I'm gonna just go ahead and use glue dots to put these on the bottom here so here's my glue dots and I'm going to put a glue dot here and just let it stick out a little bit you can let it stick out as much as you can as long as it's going to stay and I'm just going to put four leaves you can put as many leaves as you want three two four whatever looks good to you I'm, I'm going to use four because I I just like to be balanced okay one leaf on that side one leaf on that side and glue dot here and right here okay that looks kind of cute to me right there and now I'm going to take some uh, fast fuse and I'm going to put fast oops wrong way fast fuse on this uh, circle the other little circle that you made okay and you want to put fast fuse on there because you want a strong adhesive uh, to hold the leaves in and to give your your bottom a, a nice sturdy platform let's move this out of the way and there you have it okay and you can uh, put glitter on this thing you can decorate this any way you want to but look how many M&Ms this will hold on uh, this will hold almost two packets you know these little packets you can get now around this time of year 
Um, they're fun size M&Ms. You can almost fit two of them in here. So it will hold a lot of M&Ms. So here's one. Here's all three of the pink ones that I really love. Maybe do one in Blushing Bright. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But I hope that you'll try this little project. It's so fun and easy to use, easy to do uh, using your uh, gift bag punch board. Okay. And uh, just a little bit of paper. And the great thing is with this is you can do four of these out of one sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper. So. Once again, I am Jeanette with G Amazing Paper Crafts, and if you need any of these supplies and tools, please visit my website at geamazingpapercrafts.stampinup.net. I would be happy to be your demonstrator if you don't already have one, and just give me a little holler. So um, you make it a great day. Bye-bye.